Ladies are just asking me what brings me to Berlin. I explained to them that I'm at a conference uh, which, invo which is involving uh, 300 of the uh, top scientists from uh, some of the most prestigious universities around the world, meteorologists, uh, uh, climate scientists, uh, uh, and so on. They're getting together to discuss uh, engineering the Earth's climate. It's called climate engineering, or geoengineering is what they call it. Now, they have been discussing this for decades. You can wow, read this stuff really? all, all That's okay. crazy. Go, go, Google geoengineering or climate engineering. Yeah, we They've been we talking about that? this for ages now. How now, is now even possible? Their excuses, if you look up on the uh, Oxford Dictionary, geoengineering, it will, it will define it as uh, the large scale and deliberate intervention in the Earth's climatic system with the aim of combating global warming. This is what they tell us as far, okay? Now, Wow. They tell us the earth is warming, okay? That's highly debatable. Uh, but I, I, okay, it, it could be warming in some places, microclimates, and it could be cool in other places. But the facts are that the data was fiddled about in 2009. The University of East Anglia in, in England, the climate scientists there were caught cooking the books and basically fiddling around with the figures to, to fit in with their fraudulent uh, global warming data. So basically, the figures, oh it was found out yeah. that the figures were actually, the temperature was dropping and not rising. The temperatures of the planet on a global scale have been dropping in the last 15 years. But but look at I wouldn't expect you to believe a word I'm it's saying. The fact good. is oh, sorry, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. The fact is the fact is that these people the fact it is that these people are talking about this stuff and people need to know this. Yeah. Uh, now, a lot of the discussions, there was hours and hours of discussions there. Now, uh, a lot of the discussions were uh, on um, social ethics and uh, how do we deliver this news to the public and how are we going to engage in the public with such crazy information like this, you know, playing God with the planet, so to speak. I know, yeah. You know, so... Uh, Myself and about this, this guy from Austria, this lady from Spain, they're also activists that are trying to expose these crimes because not only are these people proposing them, we know that these programs are already going on. Now, just a minute ago, there was a plane going over there, okay, and it left a big long trail behind it, yeah. okay? Now, what they talk about in patents regarding to weather modification is spraying sulfates into the atmosphere from jet aircraft adding stuff into the fuel, uh, putting in spray equipment into the wings and all that with pipes to spray it out and all that. Uh, I see all this stuff going on every day, this very stuff that's the techniques that are described in patents I see going on every day with my own eyes. I've rang up the EPA, I've rang up the Department of Environment in Ireland and all they say it is, is it's only vapour. But I says no, 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 it's not vapour because I see these planes turning on and off, I can see a plane going along with nothing behind it and next minute, psh big plume of smoke and sometimes it can expand out and spread from horizon to horizon these things lengthways and widthways it's crazy because vapor cannot expand to that um, you know to, to that with, with, without any kind of some kind of chemical intervention yeah. but basically look at I wouldn't expect you to believe for a minute I get very excited and I'm talking a bit too fast here for you probably but <laughs> yes, we all need to understand that this is going on research it for yourselves okay that's on YouTube go and check out my YouTube channel you'll be able to see the videos from there there's a lot of videos but I'll be making one brief video where you will see that us posing questions to all these so-called scientists we ask them direct questions, and they never once answered any of us. Oh, really? They've got all these really complex. Oh, you've got a girl okay. Even look, 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 look. See? There we go. Spraying. Look. There we go. All right. Now look at the atmosphere. You got a couple of little wispy clouds here that could be natural, okay? But look it up there. There's a lot of haze up there. And it's look white haze. Look minutes, then it's spread out in its cloud. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. It's crazy. Look at. Okay. Right, I'm, uh, we've just arrived here uh, at an after party of the 2014 Climate Engineering Conference and uh, at the entrance here I have just came across these very well dressed and very well organised chemtrail activists yes. with loads of, <laughs> loads of beautiful weaponry man. Look at this. Abs yeah, you're like, you're, like that, you're like the character in that video. There's a song it's called okay. Proud of What I Do. Yeah, it's beautiful. And here's more of them here. Look at this. So organized. I absolutely I absolutely feel like I'm in seventh heaven here, man. I've just got yeah, brothers and sisters in arms here. Look at, look at this. Over here we got another big banner. Very good message. We're not alone. We're all connected. We're all connected in our fight against chemtrails. And this is why we in Berlin will also continue and we will be active demonstrating in the Alexanderplatz 
on 27th with the Lovely. whole community in the world. So Alexander Platz, get there if you're in Germany. Yes, yeah? Germany, Berlin. Yeah, and yeah. I okay. really hope that we all together will be at least 100,000 people on the streets. Really? You hope this? Definitely. Ha because this wow. is a critical mass. Yes, we yes. Really this is what we need. critical mass so that it cannot be avoided yes, to exactly. be public in the, in the mass media, at least to some extent, although typically we will be neglected. Exactly. But if we are large enough, we will get some press coverage as well. And this is what we need to mobilize more people on what's really going on there. Beautiful. Mass, mass, mass awareness of what it's going to take, man. Uh, so many people are sitting on the couch. They know this is going on, but they're not taking to the streets. We're not going to get anything done lying at home, man. We've got to make our That's presence it. known on the streets. Two months ago, we were in, uh, the on the streets of London. Yep. 500 uh, geoengineering slash chemtrail activists. We oh. marched down to Downing Street yep. with the Chemtrails Project UK ban geoengineering uh, petition and also uh, a direct the, the UK... What was it? The, uh, the UK directive uh, against chemtrails ban, and ban yeah, the ban geoengineering, and also a petition. To we delivered this to Downing Street to the Prime Minister. We still haven't heard anything back as yet. We had a letter. We, a letter saying what was it? Yeah. All right, they, they, what, what they did? did this track of this stuff. They, yeah, they have a full mandate with all the information. About three weeks later, in the Daily Mail, they said we're moving jets away from the mainland because of the contrails causing clouds. So they didn't react in the slightest. Well, way. they wouldn't admit to chemtrails. They, they reacted a different way. Yes. So, so now, if you go on the satellite, they can trail in open the Atlantic yeah. in mass. Yes. Yeah. 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 That doesn't help at the end. But no. we, 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 we monitor it. We would look at it on the satellite images. We, we know it's still going on. <laughs> and every single time they spray over me, I'm there filming it and uh, documenting it, video documentation. I've got four years of this. The, the, the pictures. The documenting. The documents and the scientific well, proof is still one thing, but the other thing is how to make people really react on that one. Yeah. Yeah. And that seems to be the critical question to me. And I'm more coming from an emotional, spiritual way yes. of thinking. Yes. And working against something principally will never work. Yes. At least to what I recognize for myself is our limitation to love ourselves. Fund, fund, uh, gets, gets into the into our attitude that we don't care about much environment mm. because if you would really love yourself you would never allow somebody to pollute your environment where you really want to live in, in the of course future. of course and this is something that I'm really working on and trying to that and so I'm I'm a hope I'm a coach on happiness <laughs> And I'm trying to to motivate people to more go into self-love, and from this, it's logical to go for environmental protection and to go for more democracy and look at a money system real that is democracy. serving the people. But yes. we ha we don't have any no, democracy. We, don't have real we, democracy. We, we are playing, we are pretending, yes. and, 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 and yeah. a lot of people believe that we have democracy, no. but in practice, we don't have. No, we need real democracy. Definitely, uh, real democracy would be a solution. Yes. Um, every nation printing its own money. Getting away from the uh, control of the central bankers would be absolutely important yeah. because then, we, then our governments aren't held to ransom. Yeah. Um, we, so with real democracy, we can take uh, participating decisions. Um, if, if we had real democracy, would we ever have Kim Charles? It would be stopped definitely immediately. Not. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely definitely would if, if, not if all the agencies <laughs> were doing their job properly, if we had proper democracy, we would have all the agencies doing their job properly, EPA, Department of Environment, if the EPA were doing the job properly, one chemtrail would be enough to be detected on their bloody high-tech, sophisticated uh, yeah. Yeah. And detection you got the systems. Met office, um, screening out the radar images. Yeah, chaff on exactly. The and you, and you wouldn't have the EPA just telling you that their bloody uh, vapor trails in their pre-scripted bloody answers. You know, yeah, exactly. you know, and it's just well, but ridiculous. The, but, but the real question is, in the EPA, and I know some of the guys working there I cooperated with them in my job. So. There are a lot of people that know what's going on, that they really want the best for the environment. So in general, it's not the question to blame the individual people there. It's more the question on how could we, could we let it happen that some people yes. are dominating yes. on the majority, even within uh, the employees of the MPA. Yes. Sometimes I say it's our own fault for letting this control system take over us like this. Yes. But then again, they have dumbed us down and we have, we have, we have been helpless yeah, and ignorant to it as well. It's not really our fault, but sometimes I get annoyed and I say, bloody is our fault, we shouldn't allow this to happen, but it's not our fault, really. Yeah. No, we're just it's waking up and realizing we had no power. We yeah. believed all the illusions, all the yes. tools they give us are all the crap. Well, there's I no real strength in the tools we but have. But I think there's a good reason for that, because most what we have been activated for is with anger and fear. 
most is fear. Yes. Yes. So if you have the basis of fear, control people of are course. easy to control. Of because course. any emotion of fear is ten times larger in our system than any emotion of happiness. Of course, exactly. That means, I think the evolution, what we nearly need is to understand that any fear that we have in yes. our mental system yes. is some, only an illusion. Yes. There is nothing to be afraid of. It's yeah. all been implanted in there. And when we are in fear, as you say, we can be, you, be we're, we're controllable. And when we lose the fear, we're uncontrollable. Correct. But when we are in a state of fear, we cannot grow. We can only grow stagnant. We cannot spiritually grow and develop because we are... are, are um, we are just stuck in, in, in a state of fear and it's, it's, it's impossible. You, you go around with a knot in your stomach, you're looking at all this negative news on television, which is designed to make you feel helpless. Absolutely. Wars in Iraq. Oh, Absolutely. what can I do? To, well, you, you're just right. looking on and you're looking, you're looking at poor innocent children, men, women and children being slaughtered in Gaza. You can't do anything about it. You feel helpless. But the reality is we can do something about yeah, they, it. They have um, another plan right now. The Ebola virus arrived in Berlin yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Front page news. But listen to this. The village the Ebola virus broke out in, the US military biological weaponry team have been there for six years. Mm -hmm. That's exact, not the same area, the exact same village where they were working is where he that's broke right. out. That's right, yeah, that's fact. And they've got a patent on it, haven't they? They took a patent, yeah. yeah. Okay. It was granted in November last year. Okay. And this Ebola virus, a new strain, got a patent on it. Well, Absolutely. Well, put, it, put, it, put it the other way around. You, I have learned in the past. The patent of Ebola, though. Yeah. 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 But, but well, put, put it to the, the very basic thing is, once you are afraid, you have did not understand, at least in my uh, uh, conviction, uh, what we are. I know that I'm immortal. Yes. I know I had past lives. Yes. Yes. So this, I'm just having this body at this time. Yes. In that sense, there is no real reason to be afraid of. Of course. However, if I look into myself, there is still fear in my system. Yes. So despite my brain of knowing course. that I cannot die, and yes. I lived already yes. uh, several times, yes. uh, I still have fear in my system. So it's, I think the main challenge is for us to really work on ourselves yes. with meditation and other yes. means of course. to really in, 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 to awaken and to incorporate totally. that fear is an illusion. At the moment yes. where you start to really feel that fear is an illusion, yeah. then you will be no the more susceptible. Of course. And this is this is this is a real power that we think that the message that we have to bring to the people yes. at the end. Because if we if, if we continue to warn and to attack and to, to fight against something, we are doing the same game and thus we are increasing the counter forces. Do you mind video? Look at this here, more chemtrail activists. Beautiful banner. Wow. Global march against chemtrails, and you hope to have a hundred thousand at the next march, yeah? Beautiful. What, what in the world are they spraying? Excellent. More here. Beautiful. Okay. More flyers. Excellent. So great to come across you, lads. Exciting. Exciting times. Lots of activists in Berlin, man, and uh, more around the world. People are waking up. So good, man. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Nice you, to meet you. You are the uh, the pilot, the chemtrail cowboy. Yes. <laughs> no, <laughs> yes, I'm the chemtrail cowboy. Proud of what I do. Well, I couldn't care less for my family, and I don't give a fuck about you. Chemtrail cowboy, chemtrail cowboy. We take off every morning, all my spray up buddies and. Proud of what I do Well, I don't care about the environment